This is Dan from MSS Endurless. Welcome to the channel. Food stamp enrollment has surged since 2008. 47 million Americans are on the program now. That is just one of the alarming stats you'll learn later tonight in a special look at the growing food stamp binge. It will feature this incredible look at the lifestyle of one of the people you're supporting. Here's senior national correspondent John Roberts. Meet Jason Greenslade, food stamp recipient. Another day in the life of Jason living at Rat Life. And what exactly is the Rat Life? Well, your typical day. Are you like a early morning guy, get out and get some waves? Or no. Or sort of later in the afternoon? Yeah, later in the afternoon kind of guy. Wake up, go down to the beach. Yeah. Eat up with my friends. Skate it up. Hit on some chicks. Right here. Start drinking. All day, every day. Caught up with Greenslade in La Jolla, California, close to where he grew up. The 29-year-old has chosen the life of a beach bum in this seaside paradise. With no fixed address, Jason has, for the last couple of years, floated from place to place, staying with family, pals, and girls he's dated. It was a nice day today, though, huh? He gets by with a little help from his friends and you, the taxpayer. My EBT snap card. It's got the coast of California on it. So how do you get a snap card? Just go out to the human resource office, have your uh, birth certificate, your social security card. I don't got a paycheck coming in, so I qualify. What's that? And how often do you have to do that? Is it every month, every six months? They got it now, it's where you only do it once a year. Things have changed. Back in 1996, if you were an able adult like Jason, with no family, there were limitations. You could get food stamps for only three months every three years. The exception, if you were working at least a 20-hour work week or participated in a work fair or training program. President Obama wiped away those restrictions when he signed his stimulus bill in 2009. There you go. It's and in 2010, Obama used his regulatory powers to extend the suspension of those welfare-to-work requirements. So you fill out a form for a SNAP card, they give you that for a year, no questions asked. Yeah, you're good to go, you're golden. It's $200 a month, right? Yeah, $200, free money. It's radical. Why not? This is my job right here to make sure everything's rolling smoothly. Make sure the sun's up and the girls are out. How big a part of your life is surfing? Well, I surf every day. It's wonderful, man. Just get away from everything, clear head. Just get out with the boys and have a good time. Living the life, never a dull moment. Another day in paradise. Party at your house later? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Party at my bed. <laughs> so it's off to the gourmet section of the local food mart. I got my rainbow roll. We got ahi, salmon, eel, yellowtail with rice and avocado. And then they had lobster on special. We got lobster and coconut water. Then Jason's off to the automated checkout counter. Food stamp card at the ready. Two to hundred dollars a month and you just go like, boom. Thank you for shopping with us. Just like that. Please remove your bags. All paid for by our wonderful tax dollars. Is that typically the type of thing that you'll get on the snap card? Yeah, I'll usually get sushi, but make it my own way. But they didn't have any good fish. So I just got the pre-made stuff. EBT lobsters. Blasphemous right there. Did anybody want a piece? Yep. Yeah. No. Is it safe to say? that this notion of holding down a steady job just is something that is not in your wheelhouse. 
that's not the direction I'm going right now. That's just not something that appeals to you, though. Not whatsoever. I have to say, I didn't really know what to expect when I sat down with Jason. I was really taken aback that he seemed completely unembarrassed about sponging off the rest of us in this manner.